Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 4 Week 2. In this Music Theory lesson, we'll be looking at clef. What is a clef? A clef is a symbol we write at the left hand side of every stave to show you which note lies on which line. The clef identifies one line with one note, and then you can work out all the other notes from that starting point. The treble clef curls around the line where we find G above middle C. Where we find the G above middle C. Let's get a highlighter so that we can highlight this. G above middle C. Then we have the treble clef. And this is the clef we were talking about this curve here and this is the line G and this clef is also known as the G clef the base clef has two dots either side of the line where we find F below middle C and this is the F clef this is the F clef, and these are the two dots. And this is the F line, where we find that F note. And this clef is also known as the F clef. If you don't want to say base clef, you say F clef. The alto clef. The alto clef is a type of C clef. It's a clef which tells you where middle C is located on the stave. It's not the only C clef. There is another one called the tenor clef. You learn about the tenor clef at grade 5. The alto clef looks like this. This is our alto clef. When you draw one by hand, you can simplify it a bit. Here's a hand-drawn alto clef. Here's our alto clef. You have a line, another line, and you have a U-like, and you have an N-like. So you have a K-like looking symbol you need to draw one vertical line then another with two arms the two arms must go either side of the middle line of the stave like this this is how it should look like and here's our handwritten one and this is when you write it by hand The two arms go either side of the middle line because that line is middle C. So this is our middle C. So the middle line is middle C. That's quite easy to remember. The next space up will be D. And the space below is B. To work out the other notes, just start at the middle line, middle C, and count up or down. And these are the notes you find on our alto clef. We have D, we have E, F, G, A, B, C, which is our middle C, D, E, F, G, A. Notes, intervals, and trides. Do these questions in exactly the same way as you would for the treble and bass clef. Most grade 4 students, those, those who are not viola players, can read the alto clef very quickly. It doesn't matter though. Locate the middle line and then work out the letter names of the notes and pencil them in. And work out your answers in the normal way. 
Here's a trite question, for example. Write the name trite as shown by the key signature. This is our major key. The key signature has five flats, so it must be D flat major. Remember, you can look at the last but one flat in the key to work out the key. The tonic triad will have the notes D flat, F, and A flat. Find the middle line that C. D flat must be in the next space, right in D flat. And this is our D flat above the middle C line. Complete the triad by adding notes in the next two spaces. We had D, we have F, and we have A. Not just A, but A flat. Don't forget to raise the third of a dominant chord in a minor key by a semitone half step. E.g., the dominant chord in A minor is E major. So it's E, G sharp, and A. That's your triad. Key signatures need to be written carefully at all times, but especially when you are using a less familiar clef. Here are the positions of the sharps and flats in each of the key signatures you need to know for this grade. In our alto clef, G or E minor, D or B minor, A, F sharp minor, E, C sharp minor, B, G sharp minor. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 key signatures you need to know for this grade. And our F, uh, it's D minor. This is for the flat. B flat, G minor. E flat, C minor, A flat, F minor, D flat, B flat minor. It's not very difficult to learn this. Just remember these two tips. The line space you need to start on is between where it lies in the treble and bass clef. Treble clef, bass clef. Alto clef. The B flat is on the middle line in the treble clef and the second line in the bass clef. In the alto clef, it sits in the space between these two. The pattern of up down is the same as for the treble and bass clef. And here's the pattern. the same pattern for all these three clefs. Compare the three clefs. The first sharp is written high, the next is low, then high, then low, then lower. The flats also follow a consistent pattern. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed.